Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And I get a few um, comments in the past few weeks of uh, people seeing that uh, the photo app or if they use Paint or they use different uh, other apps, they get a, um, you know, a little pop-up that says that, you know, use ClipChamp. And um, a lot of you have been asking me, well, is that going to replace eventually the apps? It's not. It's the way for Microsoft to, of course, once again, push ads about its own services and products. So ClipChamp, I uh, just wanted to talk about it again because my first impression that I did um, when it actually came out, when Microsoft actually purchased the company behind ClipChamp, wasn't very positive. Uh, it was extremely limited, and without paying, you couldn't do much. Um, Microsoft has readjusted that, and I think it's nice. For free now, you can actually edit and do you know, real 1080p videos that won't have a watermark when you actually export them. It is quite nice. It definitely is a, um, I think, a, a, you know, a good, um, a good way to, um, you know, do any types of little, um, video editing. And, um, you know, if you're the, the guy in the family or the person in the family that actually is always the one that they go to, to, uh, you know, make little, um, video editing of all sorts of, you know, life events. Well, um, you know, the free version now definitely is way better than it used to be, and it includes pretty much everything you need. The interface itself is very nice. As you see here, this is the interface. You've got all the options on the left side. You can choose media that's already recorded. You can create or record something off of a camera and so on, uh, screen recordings, whatever you want to do, and uh, all the editing, the transitions, the graphics, you can add the text image. Um, there's a minimum of image libraries that's available for free. Um, and of course, on the right side, there's all the transitional effects for the audio and everything. It is honestly um, really, really nice now compared to what it was. And I think it's not a bad idea to have ClipChamp uh, installed if you plan to do any types of videos and, of course, video editing. Of course, there's the upgrade. Um, you can actually enjoy the free content. Now, I have a Microsoft 365 included, which adds a few things. But even without, um, you know, a, um, a Microsoft 365, you can still do uh, some interesting uh, features. What my Microsoft 365 actually gives is premium filters, which are not available if you are just using it without any accounts. But you still have uh, 1080p and free stock images and watermark free exports. So this is kind of nice. Uh, you know, when they did it at first, without having any plan, you only had 720p, you didn't have anything. You could, uh, you had watermarks uh, when you were exporting your videos. You know, not interesting at all. Most people will use this for very basic projects and will not want to pay for this. And of course, if you pay, you will have extras to it. So ClipChamp is actually better than it was. And it's a very simple but powerful video editing software. And Microsoft definitely did uh, a good thing with uh, making it a little more available for free to everybody with the different features. So um, definitely something to check out. Uh, you get ClipChamp from the uh, the Microsoft Store. If you go to Clip, oops, I always have uh, I always want to say Clip Ch ClipChimp. I don't know why, but it's ClipChamp. And uh, here you go. So this is the Microsoft ClipChimp app. It's available in the store. You can download it from here. And like I said, much better than uh, the first offering when it came out where you were too limited even on the free version. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.